Hey yo yo guys, it's me Episark and welcome back to Last Dinner Survival. So today I have really really bad news to tell you and uh, I don't even know how to start that but daily beans are gone. Like they aren't coming back to Last Dinner Earth and if you are over level 100 you will not receive daily beans in your inbox like you used to. Also you're not gonna get your daily ration of water. It's just gone. If you're still below level 100 you can still enjoy temporarily your beans but after that they will take them away from you as well. <laughs> like, that's it, guys. All the beans that I have here is just the only memory that we have. Like, it's just sad. Beans are just gone. They, they aren't coming back. Like, they're taking everything away from us. Do you remember those days when you went for the raid and then you started running out of health and you were super hungry and then those beans from the inbox saved you? Remember those days when you went far away from your base and you started getting hungry and yet again those beans and water saved you? Well, that's it. You can say goodbye to those days because that's just good. So in the memory of beans i'm gonna go craft a room so just like i said in the memory of the beans we're gonna craft here a small compartment for them just so that they stay in our hearts like beans were everything we had here so those beans connected all the players all over the world they were the only thing that we all had in common but now they're just gone since the day this game started we always had beans and now they're just gone so let's go let's craft this small iron compartment just for the memory of beans here we go we have a small iron room just for the beans I wanted to build a chest for the beans and I can't because I already have here 40 racks. Dude, do we have 40 racks already? Well, I guess we will have to move these bait chests then for the beans. So here we go. We just crafted here a rack for the beans. Let's paint it into a proper color. Let's paint the beans into the orange color. I know if beans could speak, they would like to be in this orange chest. I think from this day on, I'll stop using beans. Look at how many beans I've eaten. If only we all knew things could have been different. Well, here we go. Stay over here. Whenever I'll find more beans, I'll bring them more to this rack. We're gonna have full rack of beans. F's in the chat, guys. Beans are always gonna stay in our hearts. They won't be forgotten. I just found some more beans. Let's put them over here. Let's move on. So right now, we're gonna go for the chopper and quantum event. And after that, we'll do a revenge raid. So right now, we're gonna be doing this chopper event. Let's get out of our chopper and let's destroy this first survivor. Boom, boom, boom. And I really wanna check it out. <laughs> Seriously, boom, boom, boom. So I just want to check out if they will start dropping lower durability weapons. And look at this. Seriously, he totally dropped. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to deal with them and I want to sell you. And I want to tell you guys something super weird because I was just thinking if I'm going to die here in this chopper event, I will lose my tactical backpack and I will lose everything. So they seriously, indeed, look at this. All of them are just dropping completely destroyed gear. I'm not sure if that is intentional or no. Well, this dude dropped like... Pretty okay, Glock. I would assume that this is a glitch, but like, I don't understand why would they drop this uh, low durability stuff? I mean, at least melee weapons, you know, like melee weapons, seriously? Like that was really great. Oh my goodness, this is the zombie horde, uh. Okay, so I shredded here two wave of zombies and they aren't gonna spawn anymore, so I will be able to go loot these choppers peacefully. So it's really weird because you know, when they are dropping you completely destroyed melee weapons, it kind of makes no sense because melee weapons are not really that rare and they aren't really that super OP, but they are definitely helpful for the players who need them so I totally do not understand why would they stop dropping that wait another wave of zombies are you kidding me mate get out of here why didn't I take the shotgun spread shot if I had it here that would be so awesome okay I'll try to loot this faster because I think more and more zombies are gonna start spawning so I definitely have to loot this chest right now and okay we got some bandages well still loot is kind of fine you know I can't say that loot here is bad because we can still get really good stuff from the choppers but I mean we didn't get any guns so that's not super perfect well at least I got some gasoline wait did I just give him the gasoline yeah probably i did dude i'm an idiot well whatever let's take all the gasoline uh oh the wave of zombies that's it we're getting out of here so seriously like we almost got nothing i did get a couple of bandages i did get a couple of stuff but chopper event definitely got a huge nerf well i don't know i don't know hopefully they're gonna bring that back they're seriously removing everything first of all they removed beans and now they're removing this chopper event okay whatever let's go to the destroyed coin event wouldn't be surprised if we aren't get a, if we're not even gonna get there a finger or the dead body is not even gonna be there because for some reason they removed even that stuff so little by little we're gonna lose everything that's why we have to stay strong guys that's why we have to stay together but well in any case let's try to go and open up some stuff i'll try to go and find the the the, the entrance here so it should be somewhere over here just first of all gotta deal here with these toxic spitters fast biters and let's open that up and i didn't get a finger okay like i'm not surprised at all dude i think last time when i got in a finger here was like literally months ago because it's really rare for some reason i don't get fingers there so i just came back to the base and we are gonna be doing this revenge raid so right now we're gonna be getting our revenge raid on this base named lucy and i've done some research on it and uh, you know what i don't want to spoiler here too much but most likely 
you already guess what kind of raid this is going to be because whenever it's a cool raid, I get super hyped up and right now I'm not hyped up at all. But all jokes aside, this is probably going to be like top 10 worst raids ever. I would maybe, oh, what? I can't take my words back. Crowbars, crowbars, dude. This is so awesome, whatever. We're gonna take the crowbars after that. And this raid is dedicated for the beans in the memory of beans. We're gonna raid this base. So here we go. First of all, we're gonna go and chop down this first room and look at that. It is totally empty. You might be like, well, sec, maybe you just got not lucky. That's why you didn't get anything in that room. But just wait, just wait. I wanna show you what kind of cool base this is. Like when, the, when I saw it, because again, for those who do not know, and I do know that some of you do not know, is that in order to do research on bases, just go on YouTube, type LDOE, raid player, one, two, three, four, or whatever base you're rating and if somebody uploaded video on that base you will be able to find it so that's how i do research so that's how i do research also you can go on discord sometimes if you cannot find base on youtube you might find it on discord because people post bases on discord as well but that's whatever but let's keep checking out what we're gonna get inside of this base look at this we're chopping down walls you might be like well sorry this is just most likely a troll there must be a lot of chests in this base and yes indeed we're gonna get a lot of chests here just just wait a little bit you will see how many chests we're gonna get like this day doesn't get any better like beans are gone base is super amazing we're trying you know to dedicate this raid for the beans and this is what we're getting like an empty base like i don't think if it's a joke or if it's something but i mean whatever did i take at least one c4 for yeah indeed i took one c4 so whatever let's keep chopping down walls look at that baby oof super beautiful base like we're gonna chop down all of the walls here and you're gonna see how amazing this base is well at least we're gonna get crowbars back to the base i guess that's seriously better than nothing but again i don't really need crowbars i have a lot of stuff but we're still gonna bring crowbars back to the base oh no dude i did i seriously didn't even mod okay both of these weapons aren't even modded well that's sad <laughs> well whatever this is seriously this day can't get any better am i right well let's just wait we're probably gonna do another raid after that gonna do a couple of tasks and we'll go for the second raid so let's just see what kind of raid we're gonna get there and how much i'm gonna fail because it feels like today is the international day of failing international day of last day on earth sadness what? Is that even a real thing? Probably. I mean, I said it, that must be real. Okay, so all of the base now is completely shredded, except that, okay, it's not completely shredded yet. Let's chop down here a couple of uh, level two walls now. Well, here we go. This wall is going to be destroyed. And now let's actually unzoom a little bit. So I think this base is fully shredded besides this one thingy. You know what? I will try to destroy zombies here with this one C4. We will see how that is going to go. I'm just going to wait until they will come back closer to me. All of them are coming. I'm going to start placing here a C4. Waiting, 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 waiting. Here we go. Did some of them explode? Yes, indeed. A couple of these zombies just exploded. That was kind of cool, I guess. That was definitely sweet. I was just a bit scared that I'm going to explode myself. And you might be like, wow, Cyrus, look at this room. It's so amazing. Yes, indeed. We just got one chest inside. Isn't that beautiful? This is seriously the most meme-ish raid I've ever done. But you know what? Like always, don't judge the book by its cover. And in seriousness, looting this chest is going to be super garbage. Loot, loot is just garbage. I mean, it probably could have been worse because we are going to get here inside a chopper wheel. We're going to get here a repair kit, a little bit of oak, some of that, and some scrap metal. But is that bad? I mean, I wouldn't say so. We're also going to steal all the crowbars. So this is the entire base. Should we go and deal with these dudes? Probably not really. I don't want to go and fight them anymore. But we are going to go steal all the crowbars. Wait, how do I? How am I going to get out of this base right now? Wait, am I coming from here? They're going to destroy my SWAT set. Are you kidding me? Okay, so you know what? After all, we're going to go and destroy them. I mean, even these Glocks, even if they are not silenced, they almost don't do any noise. It's either because of the skill or something else. But like, they seriously don't do a lot of noise. But still better, always take either a melee weapon or a silenced weapon for the raid. Otherwise, you are going to do a lot of noise and you don't really want that. But it's not like you completely failed the raid, even if you did not take it. So we're going to go take the stuff from the thingy here. We're going to take all the crowbars. Crowbars are always better than nothing. And I don't think there's anything else. I'm going to go loot the gardens here because who knows, maybe we're going to get something awesome inside of the garden. Like, I don't know, like 10 grenades or something, which I highly doubt. But who knows, maybe this dude is going to hide something here. So, okay, this is going to be another garden totally empty. I'm just going to go run around the base. Maybe there's something that I've missed, but I highly doubt that. Well, this is the full raid and uh, this raid doesn't get Cyrex approval. Very bad base. Very bad base. So we have to open up three green crates in order to go for another raid. Now let's try to find some space for these scroll bars. Well, but apparently we had enough space, so that's cool. So now let's take uh, five of these green crates and let's start opening them up. I can see in your eyes that you want that snap transition. So let's just transition ourselves to the police department. <laughs> So bada bingus, we are in the police department. Let's say hello to the raider. What is up? Guess how we're going to name the raider here. Wish he had actually a name, but he doesn't have a name. So I don't think you're going to guess how we're going to name it, but this is going to be Bobby the Raider. 
I'm so original, I know. But whatever, let's go. Let's open up now five of these green crates and then we're seriously just gonna teleport ourselves to the raid. Hopefully this raid is going to be better and still this other raid goes to the beans. This raid goes to the memory of beans. Okay, let's open up one crate. A saw blade mace, an M16. Very nice. Already great green crate, uh, green crate opening. Plus we got there a shotgun. That's even better. And inside the other one, we're gonna get a machete. So you know what? In any case, everything is super awesome. Okay, so I took all of the valuable stuff. I'm not even gonna take these common blueprints because I don't wanna waste my energy to go to the special and get another common blueprint as the specialist totally isn't gonna give anything better than that Bobby the scammer that's how uh, we're gonna call the raider not the raider but the specialist and I think now let's just teleport ourselves back to the base and let's prepare for the raid so right now we are gonna be raiding this base and I've done some research on it and for real this time this base is going to be pretty pretty cool so beans are gonna get a good raid in their memory and this is going to be a pretty pretty long raid I'm not really sure in which chests I will get what, but I do know that there are a couple of good chests that I might get. So whatever. First of all, let's go. Let's loot their chopper inside. We're going to get a little bit of gasoline. If I took empty bottles, but I did not take any empty bottles. So whatever. Totally not even going to bother about it. That's just a truck. Totally empty truck. Okay, there is a turret. Dude, I have to be really careful about it. Don't want to let this turret make too much noise. So I do know that I have to go to the top and somehow over here, maybe even I have to place a C4, right? Okay, I'll try to place a C4 somewhere over there. Hopefully I am not failing it. You know what? I will actually try to place a C4 over here. Hopefully that is going to be cool. Here we go. I'm seriously hoping that I'm not going to fail, right? So here we go. We exploded one thingy. Now we'll just have to go and start chopping down ourselves lower there. And uh, there we're going to get a lot of chests. We're going to get a lot of cool stuff. We might get some. You know what? I'm not just not going to spoiler because what is the point to spoiler what we're going to get in the raid now? First of all, let's deal with these floater bloaters. Well, here we go. Most of these floater bloaters are shredded. No more zamboozles. So let's go. Let's chop down one more wall. And I do believe that we won't need to use any C4s because I did not take here any other C4. So I'm just hoping that this is all I need. Well, whatever. Let's go for one more wall lower and uh, yeah believe yeah that's it and for some reason now i think developers fixed it that you cannot go anymore through these uh, level one chests because before you could go through them and this way you could troll the big one but right now you cannot do it so i think they definitely fixed it so well rest in peace so we're gonna start chopping this chest down i don't even know what we're gonna get inside well a couple of these whatever they call forgot okay connecting rods that are really cool for assembling your acid bath but we have our acid, acid bath already assembled so not a big deal whatever let's chop this down we're gonna get here vss and a scar very nice and now i want to go and chop down most likely this red and blue chest if i remember it correctly this red and blue chests are gonna have probably the best loot from this entire base as you can see here we go we got here a lot of weapons like that's insane like that's already super super beautiful i will also chop down other blue and red chests over here because i do believe that they're gonna get that we are gonna get here something cool so now let's deal with another wave of zombies just like this and finally beans are gonna get the raid that they deserve uh, gonna take enough stuff boom 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 here we're gonna fill up my chopper now where did you come from this is seriously amazing raid like whenever you have to use one c4 just for uh, like this amount of guns it's always uh, super appreciated these raids are kind of rare but for some reason in the last like probably 10 raids like five of them were really good so i don't know what's going on but I'm seriously super happy with it, except that I'll need to craft some more racks because I don't have any more space for guns in my base. So that's seriously a bit sad. We could most likely here do the, that suicide trick and come back over here once again to get more stuff, but I'm not even going to do it because I'm not too greedy. I'm happy with what I have. And I don't know what, but I've usually never been that huge fan of the suicide trick because in any case, it doesn't matter. We got a great loot. Like what? Uh, it sounds like I'm going to get way more rich from these eight extra slots. So whatever. Now let's go chop down the, the red chest and then we're going to chop down the blue chest. I still have no idea what we're gonna get inside of those okay just a skull crusher not a big deal and plus there's another chest where we can get a bunch of iron but i think i have two or three full racks of iron so seriously i am not even gonna bother about it gonna take these full durability pipes they're always appreciated and uh, i think you know what wait if i remember correctly in one of these chests either in green in blue or in that black chest we might get there something really unique and awesome yes indeed we got here guys our snorkel mask that is nice i don't know how many snorkel masks i have already at the base but i do know that most likely i lost maybe one snorkel mask or something like this i'm not sure when i'm not sure how but we did indeed get a snorkel mask not sure when it's gonna be in use and i do know that they are pretty rare and uh, when was the last time that somebody got a snorkel mask? That's actually the real question, guys. I'm seriously asking you right now. Have you ever gotten a snorkel mask, like, let's say, in the past month or something? Because I do know that in the past you could get snorkel masks from the Chopper event. But I haven't gotten a snorkel mask, like, from Chopper event, like, for forever in years now. So I wouldn't be surprised if they removed that snorkel mask, for those who don't know. 
you've never seen. This is how you look like when you put the snorkel mask. But yeah, I don't think I've seen it in raids for like forever. Maybe they removed them now. You can only find them in raids. So if you found one like recently, then definitely leave a comment down below. I want to see if it's still possible. And if you still haven't found it yet, then probably those gas masks are removed. Okay, this just had some cool stuff. Okay, we're going to take the white paint. It's kind of rare. Other than that, I don't know. Like, so seriously, that's it? That's the... Oh, okay, the big one is going to spawn right now, dude. I just realized it. Okay, we definitely got to heal up and I have to prepare on what I'll take. Like, in any case, I totally do not care. I've done some research. We got a lot of cool stuff and uh, I don't care if we're going to get better stuff or not better stuff because I'm already happy with what we got. So I'm not going to spend another 10 minutes researching, which just I should open up right now to steal more stuff because I am already happy with what we got. I believe that most of you understand what I'm trying to say here. I do know that this base isn't going to have any cool healing items. Like for me, getting like a couple of more bolts is not going to satisfy me. I do know that in one of these chests, we might get some armor, but I'm not sure which chest is going to give me armor. But did I take everything? Zip guns, dude. Zip guns, mate. Not going to pick those up. That is empty. This one is almost empty. Well, we can get some more level two hatchets. I'm not going to say no to that. And I think we're going to chop down like one of these. Either a red chest. I'm not sure if... Okay, blue chest, right? Two hits to the blue chest, right? We're going to do this. Here we go. Going to damage these chests. And I'll try to open up now the red chest here. Go inside of the red chest. Just some duct tape. Inside of the blue chest, just another set. We're going to definitely steal all the shoes. Shoes are super important. And another, in another blue chest, we're going to get nothing. So, okay. There was this set, dude. Like, I want to take... Okay, whatever. You know what? I'm getting out of this base. I don't care. Some might call me that I'm scared, but I seriously do not want to lose my tactical backpack. I've lost it way too often already, and uh, my life is going to be nothing without a tactical backpack, so. This base definitely gets 100% Cyrex approval. So, welcome back to our free to play account where we are level 67. And these are the Raider stats that I still have to finish. We're going to do one more deal with the Raider. That will be easy peasy. Maybe one day we'll be able to find Colonel 20 waves, and we will raid one day in this account, that's sure. But today, we're going to go and open up that floppy crate, because for those who do remember last time when we played in our free to play account we got this floppy crate so this is going to be my first floppy crate in this account so first of all let's try to sort out the inventory somehow some way so while i was sorting out my inventory i saw that my dude started stinking so let's take a shower dudes Oh, and also I forgot to say, what is up, Bobby the Deer? What you were doing in my garden? It's fine, dude. Don't run away from me. He's so happy with, like, placing chase and tag. Ah, I love my Bobby the Deer. Very amazing deer. Oh, and also in this account, we get these daily beans. So let's take that. I can't run away from that. I keep getting hit in my memories that beans are gone. But until we're now level 100, we will be able to go and get daily beans here in this account. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's enjoy them while we still can. Well, I think that now we're going to sit on our chopper and we will travel to the Bunker Alpha because I do have this floppy crate and I do know that at Bunker Alpha we're gonna have there really a lot of and a lot of melee weapons. So that's what we are gonna do. Plus maybe today we will be able to get a chopper event. So we're gonna do a chopper event as well. So I don't know, so far it's a pretty good day for our free to play account. Yes, indeed, we got a chopper event. Should we go over there, dude? Do I have anything? I don't have any healing items. So in any case, I have to go to this bunker alpha. So hopefully I will have enough time to get there. And again, if I'm going to get pretty bad stuff now there at the chopper event, maybe we will even stop going there because they seriously nerfed chopper event to the point that it's not really worth it to use your energy. But again, we will see. Maybe that was just a bug. Maybe it's still kind of worth it because again, if we're going to get at least one gun from the chopper event, then in my opinion, that's worth it. But again, that chopper event takes a lot of and a lot of healing items and healing items for now at least for me are the bottlenecks so we, what i am gonna take here yeah we're gonna take stack of bandages that's fine i'm gonna take here a bit better set that's fine as well and i'm gonna take two ak's you might call me crazy now nah, one ak is enough what am i talking about like one ak for that event like oof more than enough four eight oh four six is this the password for today yes indeed august 1st baby and I'm still gonna hop inside because I don't want to go to the chopper event, then come back to the bunker alpha and activate that floppy crate. So I am going to activate the floppy crate here as soon as possible. Then we maybe will do a little bit of bunker alpha, but I'm not sure. All I know is that I am definitely gonna go and activate this floppy crate. Boom. Let's do it. We are filling that up. We're gonna get a C4. We will also get some other cool stuff. I don't know what we're gonna get in our first floppy crate. And also I have to definitely go, guys, and do the third floor and unlock that acid bath. Seriously, this is probably going to be my next goal in this free-to-play account because so far 
far, we don't have our asset path. And if I just in case ever get my infected floppy crate, I won't be able to use it and I will have to keep it on my chopper. But again, one floppy crate, we can still keep it. And we got a dealer event, a lot of other cool stuff, but we are gonna go and drive to this event. Boom, let's do this. I'm just hoping that we will get there at least something decent. Like I'm not hoping for super or something amazing, but at least one gun, a little bit of iron, because at least in the beginning, iron is definitely important. So let's just hop inside and let's see if this is going to be my day or this isn't going to be my day at all. What? Okay, let's deal with them. All I know is that, first of all, we have to go and wait. One of them is going to run away because he's held hostage. So they will start shooting here each other. I just have to wait at least a little bit. They will start shooting it. Uh, we were first to find it. You won't need it when you're dead. Okay, so yes, as you can see, you see all of them are dead right now. Okay, so I am definitely missing here a lot. I gotta run away. Here we go. We dealt with one survivor. Now we're gonna deal here with another survivor. I'm just trying not to miss because this AK is pretty weird. Here we go. They're all destroyed. Awesome. So we're gonna get here one shotgun, a little bit of that. So I would say that it's already pretty decent, but I'm still not sure. Let's check it out. We got completely destroyed AK. If it was better, that would be way better. We got here at least a little bit other AK with more durability. So I'm not sure if this is serious. Seriously, a glitch because you see like they have like seriously only one percent of durability on this and on that like is that a glitch or that's how it's supposed to be because i wish all of the weapons that they dropped were full durability it's not like we're getting super rich if we're gonna get like 30 percent durability ak but that's at least better than nothing so i don't know what we'll see but let's keep looting other chests let's loot here the luggage because luggage is cool so inside of the luggage we're gonna get a little bit of bandages very awesome plus i am going to get that iron Let's loot another chest and let's tag the bandages right now. And then we will go to the floppy crate location. Totally forgot about it. But probably for the floppy crate location, we will have to come with an empty inventory because there is going to be a lot of stuff. So I think we are done with everything here in this event, aren't we? I took everything besides that. Let's now loot their chopper. Please, inside of the chopper, we're going to get one full durability gun. That would be lovely. Yes, we got at least like 50% durability gun, a little bit of iron and a red ticket. So, so far still, chopper event is kind of worth it. I wouldn't say that this is the best event you will ever probably see, but uh, it's definitely kind of worth it. So, you know what I am going to do right now? I'm going to get a little bit of empty bottles because we need those empty bottles for the to steal the gasoline. So, let's just do it. We got a little bit of gasoline. Very beautiful. So, just like I said, it's still worth it to do this chopper event. It is not the best event right now. It's def it definitely got a nerf, but it's still kind of worth it. So I'm going to pick up the grass and probably see you at the base. Well, so event just got way better because we got here seriously 30 fiber and uh, 14 seeds. So that's insane amount of loot. Basically for free as a bonus to the guns that we got already. So that's amazing. So okay, I'm kind of done here with the base. I started cooking some more coal. I started growing my carrots. I did get a little bit of stuff. I'm gonna go there probably with my tactical set. I took a little bit of bandages, my AK, that should be totally enough. Let's heal up a little bit of our hunger. And I think let's now sit on the chopper and let's go to this. Bobby the Deer, see you very soon. Don't miss me too much. Where's my chopper? I seriously need to start building a garage as well, but I need some more resources. I need some more bolts and stuff like that. But for this, I need to either go for a raid or do Bunker Alpha. And I'm not really that much hyped out about Bunker Alpha anymore. So we're just gonna wait. We're gonna do the missile stuff so where is my here we go this is the so let's go to our first ever airdrop here in this account i'm definitely pretty sure that we're gonna get something amazing like even if i don't get anything it's still a pretty epic moment because i'm opening up my first floppy crate in level 67 i'm pretty sure you can open it up way earlier like maybe at level 50 or something but still opening it up at level 67 i believe that that's pretty good achievement because at least in my opinion you're still gonna be a newcomer like i think that you're considered a newcomer until you're gonna reach like level level 99 because it's pretty easy to reach like level 67 like i almost didn't play in this account and we are level here 67 so i think level 99 that's when you can consider yourself a cool player so for now here my account is pretty newbie at least that's what i think but again i don't know inside we got some rope maybe gonna pick that up but now let's find that floppy crate i do believe that it's gonna be around over there and if i am not mistaken the first chest can never be an infected chest at least from the things that I've heard. But again, I'm not sure about it. I might be totally wrong. So there's a lot of zombies, but hey, I took an AK. We're gonna deal with all of them. So yeah, like I said, this isn't an infected box because a lot of people were saying that you cannot get an infected box 
if this is your first crate. So, hey, I'm lucky enough to not get it. So, let's open it up, baby. This is my first crate. Let's see what kind of goodies we're going to get in show. Okay, so in three, two, one, boom. Inside, we're going to... Oh, my God. This is awesome. Okay, let's learn the blueprint here. We're going to get another one. We got two C4s. A full SWAT set. Are you kidding me? Like, I don't think I've ever gotten a full SWAT set in a long time now because for some reason, my chests are broken in my other account. But we got in here an electronic circuit. Let's take this. Let's take a couple of guns. Also, we're going to learn now this lightweight shotter. I think that... I don't think it's good or maybe it's good. I don't know. Whatever. Let's take these C4s, baby. Pretty good crate for the newcomer. But again, we spent a lot of guns to get it. But at the same time, I've never really grinded hard mode bunker in this account that much. Like, all I've done was just killing the blind one. So, it's worth it. It stacks up. It's It adds up for sure. So, hopefully, I'll still have at least a little bit of space in my chopper. Can't wait to unlock that off-road bike because with the off-road bike, I'll be able to have more space. So, that's also another goal. But I have to go to the gas station. And gas station isn't really that cool. And I have to exchange items. And I'm not really that rich at the point here yet so that I could go and exchange stuff at the Jennifer's place. Let's leave here 2C4s inside of the chopper now. And we have empty bottles. You know what? Most likely we are going to get rid of the empty bottles, man. They're not that important. We can get more empty bottles. So in any case, I'm super stoked about this first floppy crate. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. When you aren't like grinding a hard mode bunker just on purpose to get the floppy crate, I think they're kind of worth it because I think I got this floppy crate after a few times of killing the blind one. Like he drops you a couple of those items. You have to kill a couple of zombies on your way. And that's how I got it. So I don't know. It's worth it. In my opinion, it is worth it. Here we go. Let's take this. Let's take over here. And I don't need that copper ore. We, we should I should take the copper ore man. I'm not that rich. Well, I think that's what I'm gonna do I don't think these springs are super that important I have like 30 40 springs at the base and it's not like I'm planning to go and uh, upgrade my guns here anytime soon because I still don't have my gunsmith bench assembled as I still need to grind for it. So we still need to go to another dealer location. So let's try to call him on the radio because he disappeared from the minimap. And Bobby the Deer, welcome back. Daddy's back home. Mm -hmm. So this is the dealer. Let's accept the deal. And uh, so we will need 10 bandages and two first aid kits, dude. Are you kidding me? I don't want to do that kind of deal, dude. I'm not even going to have my first aid kits here. Whatever. We're just going to wait for another deal. I don't care. This is seriously expensive deal. Okay, so I'm going to take here a couple of broken guns. And we might go to police department because I have like still a couple of brand crates to open up. And I don't want that to police. And I don't want my police department to stay and do nothing. So we're going to hop on my chopper. Oh, and plus I have C4s. I do have like first aid kits. I have the stuff. I could make a deal with the dealer. But at the same time, we can just wait. I don't think it's that much important. So I really don't have that many brown badges. I have only two brown badges. But again, they're going to give me a little bit of first aid kits and bandages. And I think I am going to open them up. And the point is, I started having a great, great feeling that maybe it would be kind of smart just to open up brown badges for now because they give you healing items and I don't have that many healing items and at the same time I don't plan to grind that police department super hard so maybe it's kind of worth it to just open up brown badges like that's is that is that a ghoul good goal I believe I believe whatever let's open that up what is up raider Bobby the raider mm -hmm. uh, whatever let's loot here the vending machine sometimes we might get here an energy drink and this time we okay okay we didn't get an energy drink okay whatever let's open up these two brown badges just boop, boop, and inside of these two brown ones, we're gonna get one first aid kit. Thought we're gonna get five of them. That would be amazing. Plus, we're gonna get some steaks and duct tape. Like, that's good, dude. This is great stuff. This is seriously good stuff, mate. I like it. I seriously like it, like it, like it a lot. Let's open up another brown badge. I'm not gonna give up that easily. Let's go deal with this zombie officer. I do have a couple of broken glocks. We have got another brown dude. This is awesome. Like, you know what? If you are lazy or like if you don't have a lot of time and blah, 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 just open up brown cards at police department. Like green cards are better and stuff like this. But if you want to save up your guns for like 20 waves or something and you don't want to waste them, then meanwhile, opening up brown cards are fine. But I think after we're gonna play this game in you're gonna have enough stuff look at this three bandages like what i try to say you're gonna have enough stuff to keep opening up green cards all the time every police department run because if you're gonna do like 30 40 waves you're gonna get a lot of green cards and at that time you should be able to save up enough guns but if no then this stuff is perfect as well like i got this from green like all this loot is worth it like i can use my uh, golf club for farming wood and other stuff are perfect plus i got bolts amazing brown cards are awesome dude seriously like seriously literally no one happy psych brown cards are awesome but for real brown cards are awesome like they are super incredibly cheap almost every single zombie drops them and you're getting this amazing healing stuff it's like dude 
Police department is amazing. Also, let's do probably last event for today. Let's go to this convo event and let's see if I will be able to get there a finger. If no finger, then I'm just gonna cry a little bit in the corner. But if we're gonna get a finger, that will be really awesome. But let's see. Oh, to assemble acid bath, I will need those connecting rods. And for that, I'll probably need to open up red crates, don't I? Okay, or maybe we'll try to go to the first airdrop. Not to the first airdrop, but the airdrop event. That's where you can get it. Okay, there's another dude. Touch our boxes and you're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. Here we go. We didn't get a finger, but I do know that this dude might drop me something amazing. So here we're gonna stay over here. Gonna try to destroy the guy. Here we go. Did he drop me something? Yeah, we got a Winchester. So let's take it. Now let's get out of this place. It's a bit sad that he did not drop me any fingers, like again, for whatever time in a row. Like I said, probably they really reduced the drop rate of those fingers. That's a bit sad. Oh, and also, I just remembered a lot of you told me that they do not drop uh, guns but they do drop melee weapons and i want my melee weapons dude like melee weapons are awesome I'm gonna go and try to, like, loot these places while they're here. So maybe Convoy Event isn't that bad if you want to get melee weapons. Let's try out. Let's try out new strategies that I haven't done yet. Like, I need my melee weapons here. I don't want to craft my machetes, and sometimes they do have cool stuff. Let's take that. I mean, okay. Okay, there's the dude, and uh, he has only... Okay, my gun is gonna break very soon. Okay, he just broke, and did I get anything? Like, he didn't even drop anything so those who have guns are not worth fighting but if they don't have guns they're gonna drop you a cool melee weapon so we're gonna get my medic to max let's definitely take this boom and uh, now let's just search for another dude i just don't want to waste too many first aid because okay, does this dude have a gun yeah i think he has a glock so i'm not gonna bother about it. does this dude okay this dude has a machete so let's try to deal with him and now we're gonna go deal with him with my pipe very quickly just get out of my sight man okay here we go Okay, Machete's full durability. That's what I am talking about. Super, super worth it. So seriously, if you're doing this event and they have melee weapons, fight them. So this is another tip about Convoy event that I really did not know and didn't use it myself. And now we can basically loot some stuff here. And maybe if we're going to get at least one first aid kit, it's going to be worth it. So I keep changing my opinion about the... We got the paints. Let's take the paints. I mean, better than nothing, I guess, but still not perfect. We could get a watch just to bump up our recycler level. Let's take it then. And let's loot here the bag. Maybe we're going to get something cool. So yeah, convoy event isn't that bad. Seriously, do the convoy event and follow the tips. I mean... We got here some garbage, like, transistor, a couple of wires, who cares about it, but, like, whatever. Okay, this dude is definitely gonna find me, he will start shooting me, and as soon as he does that, I'm gonna just run away, I don't wanna fight with him. So, I highly suggest you checking out this last day on Earth Survival Cursed Raid, or click here on the second card and you will go to my Minecraft Skyblock Episode 1 video. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you will find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. Also, drop that like button while we're at it, and peace, peace out. Mm-hmm.